Welcome everyone. Today we have a guide for four guys. This is one of the qualifier maps that between 60 to about 40 players will be participating and this is the worrying gig. Firstly, we'll go through the general concepts of the map and we'll go through some of the trips and some of the tricks and tips with the map and after that we'll have several replays of us going through the map and having a live session of what to do and what am I thinking during those obstacle courses. So let's get right into, into it. We do have a replay here. So what I'll quickly do is at the start of the map, I'll show you guys the overlay of the map. And so we're gonna pause over here. The overlay of the map, there are actually three parts of the map. The first part consider the spinning part, which you can jump over it. Oh, as you can see in the replays, you can actually time yourself correctly and let the ob obstacle spinner actually push you forward. So firstly, as you go through the map, you do want to jump once, once you get onto it, but there's another option. So here, what people tend to do is, people tend to jump together, and usually the the spinner is actually, you know, gonna dodge the spinner and you keep running. But what you can do here with our little trick is, the first trick here is to stand around there where my mouse is and watch for the spinner to hit you forward and make sure the other spinner is actually not blocking you. So here, I allow myself to just stand here, let it hit me forward, and I actually propelled forward. So this second spinner is actually not blocking me and this propels me forward again. Now, unfortunately, the third spinner actually blocked me. If the third spinner didn't block me, I'll actually be the top two or the top three. I'm currently top four right now. So now this is the second focus of the map. What you want to do is you want to get onto the treadmill with orange speed boost, get onto the one of the blocks by using one jump and use the second jump quickly onto the next blue block. This is quite nice and this allows you to speed up towards the next obstacle course and you get away from the crowd. Now, if you didn't do the first trick, you might be caught up with the crowd and when there's a crowd, you might not be able to jump onto the orange block and actually keep jumping because they might bump you off. So what you want to do is jump on the side or go to the corner of the blue block and actually use jump and grab and you can climb up without jumping onto the orange block. I've seen so many people jumping onto the orange block and get blocked there and get knocked off and you get stuck, you get really stuck there. Now that you got onto the blue block, the obstacle is not over yet because the next challenge part is actually the spinner. What's going to happen is if you run yourself and don't time yourself correctly, the spinner will hit you towards the right hand side and you get smacked onto the wall multiple times and you can't get out of this sometimes. You have to run your way back and do it again. What you want to do is you want to time yourself correctly and position yourself towards the left hand side of the spinner. So this way, if you get smacked, maybe you have a chance to be bounced onto the borders and bounce forward. Other times what I do is I tend to just dive for it. So here I'll be diving for it and usually that works for me. This part is pretty easy. Avoid the bouncing yellow blocks and keep running. Here I usually run between the two spinners. There's a small opening here and usually it doesn't hit you. And if it does, you don't actually get affected that much. You just run through the corners between the two. I did dive there. Now this part, some people do have trouble with this because the timing again and this time because it is uh, treadmill timing the treadmill will push you up forward. What you want to do is you want to stay on the far left hand side of this block and actually just focus on getting through. If you can get through with a dive, that's great. If you don't, on the far left hand side, if the spinner actually hits you, you'll actually be bounced towards the corner of the other block. You have a chance of getting through as well. So here, if I was happen to be hit here, I have a chance of getting a further distance and get bumped on this border. So here we made it just then. Now, there's three choices over here. You can go for the high risk play and usually that fails because the spinner is really fast unless you time it correctly, which is very hard. I tend to take the left hand side of the path and with this particular path, what I'll be experiencing is the spinner is actually spinning into me. If the spinner is spinning into me, I have a really good chance of dodging it and actually going to the next part. As long as I can get onto the second platform, even if I fall, I'll be, re I'll be revived at the middle of the platform. So that's really important. So here, as you can see, the spinner is actually spinning into me, making it much easier. The trick here is to not be impatient, jump a few times and there's no hurry. Once you jump onto the final treadmill, make sure you keep jumping. Keep dodging the actually constant spinner and here you want to jump and dive for it. Diving not only allows you to jump further, but also enables you to not get knocked off by other players. You have a chance of knocking other players off as well. So that was really important. And here we did make it. The graphics actually went a little sideways. Be aware of people grabbing you, but that's not a big deal. So here we go. The spinning gig. 
this is one of my favorite maps because it's so easy to be done and it's so easy to you know qualify with this map and once you get used to it you can almost always qualify knowing a few of the tricks so let me know what you guys think and here we're going to play some of the replays we had with this particular map thank you for watching guys and let's go into replays so the welding gig this one have a few unique systems because the bars are always spinning what you can do is you can run towards the bar so it spins into you it's easier to jump this way and it makes a life much easier what you can also do i have a small trick i'll try to show you guys is to let the bar smack you forward you don't even have to jump let it smack you forward you do have to be in the right position for the smacking now. so there's a bar in the middle that's going to spin forward let it sink so that they will continue to smack you forward. I'll try to show you guys what I mean by that. And hopefully I can show you properly. So here I'll stop jumping, I'll let it smack me. And I know this one's gonna smack me. This one didn't smack me properly. But if it smack me properly, I will be actually number one. So there I didn't have to jump much. Here you want to jump twice. And dive for this one. Perfect. So the smacking actually times perfectly for the two bars to smack you forward. Sometimes even three. You can dive for those. For this one, you want to be on the corner of this side. Dive for it. Perfect. Never attempt the top one. I always like to go on the left hand side because it rolls into me. And it's easier for me to see. Jump. Jump. Jump again. Jump again. Jump again. Jump. Oh, we can make it. Jump to it. And then dive for this one. Yep, it's important to dive for it. And oh, almost coming first. Hey, this guy, stop it, you. <laughs> I'm gonna be fourth. So the key was to let it smack me forward. Of course, you can try to jump with it. Half of the time, the jumping might land you in a bad spot because you might fall down and the bar just smacking into a random way. It's better to let it smack you into a correct way, like what I did here. I think that was a really fun trick with it. And I haven't really lost this one ever since I started to let the bar just smack me forward. I'm usually top five at the start, and there's not many people that ruins me. No one stumbles on me, and the worrying gig. We spoke earlier about getting smacked forward. Let me see if I can show you guys about getting smacked forward again. Easy trick to number one, right? Thirty-one to go. Let's go. So here, I want to get propelled forward by not jumping. So this is a good timing. And let's stay here. Propel me forward. Thank you, game. Oh, look. Oh, they're going to go propel forward too. So we're getting propel forward there. That's the leverage. And if you jump twice like that, you can actually jump really fast. So it's a double jump. If you don't do that, jump and grab also works. And over here, you just go with the corner. Always go onto the corner with those. And even if it gets you, you can have a chance of smacking onto the other corner. That makes you through. I always go for the left hand side so you know you can jump into it oh i jumped too early oops oops and you come back over here oh how did i miss that but if you fail this what i was going to show you guys is you actually start in the middle so you don't lose much if you fail that oh i can make it easy make sure you die for it oh i could have been the first one if i didn't miss the first job i have been first few times there not a big deal so what I was going to say is if you fail like me on the last jump after getting to the second block on the left hand side you'll be teleported into the middle which is a really good factor you just go from the middle it's much easier oh he's got a nice death 